guys welcome back to my channel so here's another tutorial of a Native American girl and I named it the painting uh, don't you dare and in case you wonder where all this random names for my paintings come from uh, they usually come from the process you know when I paint and I try to think about that girl and kind of her life story and uh, what is she going through at the moment and um, yeah and so that's where the names come uh, just you know imagining what she's feeling or thinking and uh, yeah so this one don't you dare and because in the end like you can see it in her eyes you know don't you dare anyways okay that was a long explanation but here to the process I did the uh, base color gray and then I deposited the skin color and then I started adding uh, highlights and low lights. For her lips, I wanted them to be more of a natural, so I didn't really put much of a highlight on her lips. Um, but that cheekbone highlight, I mean, was a goals. I really liked her cheekbone highlight, how it turned out. Also, in case you haven't noticed, I got rid of background. Uh, I'm still in defense, like, I don't know if I like backgrounds or I don't. I feel like if it's on completely white, uh, it stands out more. And um, so yeah, so I decided to forget the background and just be, you know, have her on a white background. And that's why uh, when I did that, her face was too dark. So I lightened it a little bit. Um, so, so yeah, because she doesn't really have that much of a shadows now that she's not in the forest, but uh, anyways. So, and then of course I put some freckles on her and on her cheeks, cheekbones, and now I'm just working on her hair and that's again the same process. I outlined the hair, then I put the darker color over it and then my second layer I do a lighter highlight and the layer after that I do even lighter highlight. So there are usually three layers to my hair process. And you know you highlight them and then you blend them, highlight, blend them, uh, and that's how you get the smooth effect. And so now you see like I'm putting highlight on the braid and then I put the shadow around it and really made it pop. And my last step was just adding accessories and uh, making them blend in into her hair and in the jacket. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye.